mean is 75 standard deviation 8 and random sample 800 expected value so expected value is the average so expected value because it is 75 b is the correct answer number two so we have distribution of x bar so when we have a distribution of x bar we have to make use of sigma of x bar so in this case sigma of x bar will be s divided by square root of n so 16 by 8 is 2 so within two standard deviations of the mean area is always 0 0.6826 so a is the correct answer 3 data from population is used to estimate the population parameter that's not correct because we take a sample from the population data from sample is used to estimate so b looks like a correct answer 4 sample mean is point estimator of mu or the population mean always the probability distribution of the sample mean is called so this is the name so distribution of x bar is always called sampling distribution of the mean 6 standard deviation of all possible x bar values is called so the name given to that is standard error so standard deviation of x bar is called standard error so with larger sample we always approach normal distribution So standard deviation of a point estimator for example one of the point estimator is average so it's called standard error of the average 10 the sample statistic such as x over bar s or p over bar that provide point estimate of the population parameter is known as those that provide point estimate of the population parameter are always called point estimate so because 0.22 is the standard deviation of the population it is a parameter so population values are called parameter and Calculations from the sample are called statistic, but because 0.22 is coming from the population, it's a parameter. Sometimes normal for all sample sizes, sometimes normal for large sample sizes, always normal for all sample sizes. So it should be always normal for large sample sizes. So if your sample size is more than 30, which is a large sample, irrespective of the original distribution sampling distribution of sample mean is always normal so that's because of the central limit theorem 14 as the number of degrees of freedom for t distribution increases so remember degrees of freedom is n minus 1 so basically when you say degrees of freedom is increasing sample size is also increasing so when the sample size increases the difference between t distribution and the standard normal distribution becomes smaller because when you have a larger sample size then we approach a normal distribution so sigma unknown so when sigma is not known we use t distribution
fee distribution is applicable whenever the sample is considered large. If it is large, then actually we don't need fee distribution. The population is normal and the sample standard deviation is used to estimate the population. So this is the correct answer. In this case, again, you can directly use normal, directly use normal. So the sample size is 100. Standard deviation of the sample is calculated. So this is like sigma not known. For interval estimate of mu, the proper distribution to use will be. So although sigma is not known, we use t distribution. But because you are dealing with like 100 elements or sample size is quite large, much more than 30. So t distribution also becomes a normal distribution. So it should be normal distribution. So remember, we are using t distribution. We use n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So n minus 1 would have given us 99 degrees of freedom. So that way also, you cannot have 102 or 101 or 100. So if you are using t distribution, 99 degrees of freedom would have been more appropriate. But whatever you get, that will be very, almost same as what you get from normal distribution. So in this case, A is the best option. Sample size increases sampling error. So when you have higher sample size, then the distribution becomes narrower and narrower. So sampling error will decrease. Higher confidence means you are able to contain the population parameter within the interval with a higher degree of confidence. If we change a 95% confidence interval estimate to 99%, we expect, so whenever you increase the confidence interval, we expect the size of the confidence interval, so this will increase. 95% versus 99%. So these confidence levels may be like this. Whereas for this one, it could be wider. So A is the correct answer. An interval estimate is a range of values used to estimate shape Sampling distribution, we, are, we never estimate sample statistics, so these should be correct answer. So we try to use, estimate a population parameter. Whenever using t-distribution in estimation, we must assume that the sample size is at least 30, the sampling distribution is approximately normal, the population, so this is the correct option. So the population we assume is approximately normal. So for 95% confidence interval, you have the formula x bar. So x bar is 3 plus minus for 95% confidence, when sigma is known, we always use 1.96 times. The standard deviation was 1, and then you have square root of 100. So this will give you 3 plus minus 0 0.196, which is so 2.804 and 3.196. When constructing a confidence interval for population mean and a small sample is used, degrees of freedom or t distribution is always n minus 1. Expectancy means mean 75, standard deviation 7, sample size 49. What is the probability that sample mean 
is larger than 77. Number 27, what is the expected value? So expected value is same as average. So expected value is $5. Then the standard deviation of the sampling mean. So standard deviation of sampling mean is sigma of x bar. So sigma, sigma of x bar is standard deviation divided by square root of sample size so that should give you 3 divided by square root of 36 is 0 0.5 and then the shape so shape is normal So 95% confidence interval. So 95% confidence interval because this is S, this is sigma unknown case. So we first need to find out T alpha by 2, which is given by T i n b and 0 0.05, which is alpha and n minus 1 is 35. So this is the formula we use. So this will give you 2.03. Sample 100. Average 13, standard deviation 0.8. So 95% confidence interval for the mean of the population. Sample size is 100. We can approximate this by normal distribution. So you have 0 0.9544 so these two will be and we are interested in this point which is z alpha by 2 so this we can get by using n o r m s for standard normal i n b and the total of these two 0 0.9772 So this will give us, so we can write the equation as so this range is wider than this range. So we have constructed this, we have constructed this. Discuss why the answers in part A and B are different. 
So because we we are going from 95% confidence to 95.44, we get wider interval. 